Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing about anatomy and physiology of cardiovascular system. And again this video is exclusively made for candidates. Those who are preparing for their interview. Because it is not a detailed explanation. It is made very short and sweet so that you can answer it in an easy way. So let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Danya, where we simplify medical coding and healthcare concepts for you. In today's video, we are diving deep into the cardiovascular system, one of the most crucial system in our body and an essential part of medical coding. First thing is anatomy of cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system is also known as circulatory system is responsible for circulating blood throughout the body, delivering oxygen and nutrients while removing waste products. It consists of three main component. The first component is the heart, a powerful muscular organ that pumps blood through the entire body. Heart has four chambers, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium and left ventricle. The valves of the heart that is mitral valve, tricuspid, aortic and pulmonary ensures that blood flow in one direction. The second component is the layers okay uh, uh, in this uh, heart itself you can talk about the pericardium pericardium is a double layered membrane that surrounds and protects the heart myocardium is a thick muscular middle layer responsible for heart contraction endocardium is a smooth inner layer lining the heart chambers the second component is the blood vessel Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. Veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart. Capillaries are tiny vessels where oxygen and nutrient exchange occurs. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. Veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. Capillaries are tiny vessels where the exchange of nutrients takes place. And in this iota, the largest artery in the body is responsible for distributing oxygenated blood. Vena cava, the largest vein which brings the deoxygenated blood. And the third component is blood flow pathway. Blood enters the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava, right atrium, right ventricle, lungs for oxygenation, left atrium, left ventricle, iota, reset the rest of the body. Pulmonary circulation carries blood during the gas exchange then coming to the physiology of the cardiovascular system understanding how the heart function is crucial so first thing blood circulation we can divide it into systemic circulation and pulmonary systemic is heart to the body and pulmonary circulation heart to the lungs cardiac cycle we have two main phases systole and diastole Electrical conduction system of the heart. The heart's beating is regulated by electrical impulses originating in the SA node, pacemaker, traveling through the AV node, bundle of his and Purkinje fibers. This system controls the rhythm and rate of the heart. Next, coming to the cardiac output, the amount of uh, blood pump in a minute. And then medical terminology, we can say about arrhythmia, that is irregular heartbeat, bradycardia, slow heart rate, tachycardia, fast heart rate, Myocardial infraction, heart attack, hypertension is blood pressure, hypotension is low blood pressure. Then coming to the common procedure, we have blood pressure monitoring that is a routine checkup of blood pressure level. EKG that is electrocardiogram which measures the electrical activity of the heart. Echocardiography uses ultrasound waves to produce images of the heart. Cardiac catheterization assesses heart function and checks for blockage. Then the basic diagnostic tests done are chest x-ray which visualize the heart, lungs and the blood vessel. Net blood tests are done, checks uh, cholesterol, cardiac enzymes and overall heart health. Stress test is done to evaluate the heart function under physical stress. So that's all about uh, cardiovascular system that wraps up our, our overview of the cardiovascular system. Anatomy and physiology mastering these concepts not only helps in medical coding but also gives you confidence during exam and on the job. If you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more information. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and stay tuned. The next system uploaded will be digestive system. So make sure you're watching all the videos so that it will be really helpful. If you uh, like what to say, I'll add the i card here. So please do watch. Thank you so much.